what's happening everybody Jay shock blast here and check it out we have Barisafi and uh, she is quite a controversial character as far as I'm concerned um, you know it's weird because like the Clone War has really threw things off for her um, she became quite the friend well first of all uh, she's always been portrayed as the Padawan of uh, Luminara and Dooley and um, you know they're both similar in race uh, I think they're both Marillion I think is how it's pronounced um, and you know she's she's struggled with uh, with Ahsoka you know she had that like brain worm thing at one point they're always getting into trouble I do remember the original Clone Wars cartoon I thought I remember them going her and Luminara going into uh, like the crystal cave to like find their crystals and stuff like that and embarrassed being part of that but I don't know it's been so long since I watched that but uh, obviously Barriss's time in the Jedi Order ended uh, in season 5 uh, when she set up Ahsoka to leave the Order and um, after she's the one that bombed the Jedi Temple and uh, you know it's it's interesting that they definitely made sure they got her in here because she was you know a very controversial figure in that uh, the Clone Wars cartoon and, and that's really what they focused on um, I think what frustrates me about you know the way that they've they've done things is that she, I she originally died during Order sixty six, so the whole addition of the whole, you know, bombing thing and, and all that was kind of added after the fact, and you know I'm not really quite sure why they had to go that route with her, but um, it seems as though it's something that they could have done, you know, maybe a little bit differently. Um, they could have done it with a different character. They could have established a different character. They they use the Clone Wars to establish a lot of different new characters. And, I don't know, maybe they didn't feature Barris as much with Ahsoka. You know, they could have had some other people. But what can you do? Um, so she doesn't really do too much too fancy here. Um, just basically your average everyday Jedi with agility, objects. Uh, she could use force powers and Lego walls. Um... There's been speculation, and I kind of thought about it. Again, I didn't... I've said this in other videos. I didn't follow Rebels as closely as I did, you know, some other things uh, with Star Wars. And the Seventh Sister, who is in the Rebels pack, there's a lot of speculation that the Seventh Sister was, in fact, Barisafi. And, uh, you know, it, it's not, from what I can tell. We don't really know what happened to Barris after she got arrested and uh, sent off. Um, she could have ended up in prison. I mean, theoretically, she was supposed to be put to death, but um, we don't really know. We do know that she was in custody of the, you know, the Republic. And when the Republic became the Empire, if uh, she wasn't already dead, then I guess it's not without reason to think that she the could have been uh, net has remained you know, put into the, the force-sensitive you know, Inquisitor program that Palpatine uh, or Sidious set up. Um, the, the Seventh Sister, you know, we do see that she is, I believe, to be the same race as both Luminara and uh, Barriss, but uh, they have different facial markings. Uh, I don't think... Um, I don't think the seventh sister actually. I don't really think you actually see her uh, her face. She just has the um, the mask up. But you know, it, it's possible. Maybe uh, I don't know. Uh, I doubt it. But you know, the facial markings. I I don't know if they're tattoos or if they are natural markings of uh, the Marillion race and. Uh, I would imagine it to be the latter, uh, not the former. So, in any event, Barisofi is available now as part of the Star Wars Clone Wars pack. Uh, it's available now for season pass owners. You know, as part of the season pass, and I want to say it's like two or three bucks uh, without it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you.